Now, one thing to note, too, you might think, you know, oh, build a shelter right on this rock, because it's what I thought one time. Like, yeah, let's stick it right here. It'd be awesome. No, nope, can't do that. You can only place it on the actual terrain. If you try to put it on this rock, it actually clips through it because it tries to get to the terrain below. So that is not something we're doing. Is that a big rock over there? I hate to move inland here, but let's go take a peek at this. Okay, so big flat open area. We've got a rock right there. Big cliff face, essentially. So, yeah, see, like a spot like this isn't even bad, right? It's kind of dipped down. We're at the top of that cliff. Hmm. Maybe we'll move. Maybe there's an, one more hill, though. One more crest just ahead. These seem to be dipping up and down. Definitely have all the trees we would need. Let's see. This seems like it might be a cool spot. You got the rays on the hill right there to kind of block block the view. Oh, here we go. Now we are right next to a really big opening. But something like this might be cool. We might have some access to water, and we could just kind of stick something right down here. Really, you couldn't see this from up above, and there's not going to be anything out in the water. If there's anything actually down along the water at the bottom, you're not going to be able to see up here. So let's go ahead and do this. I think this will be a cool spot for now, hopefully. <laughs> let's get started chopping some trees. I'm actually out of energy here. Let's do this. Grab some food. And we don't need medicine. We're doing okay on life. So let's go ahead and get started on our shelter again. I'm going to go ahead and chop a tree or two down and get the shelter and a fire put back in place. Okay, there we go. We've got the shelter set up and the fire, which is very cool. Now, one of the things that I really want to get to is the, uh, what is it, the rack? I forgot what that thing is called. Let's see. Oh, do we pass it? The drying rack. Because all it takes is a bunch of sticks, and sticks are easy to find. And what it allows us to do is actually uh, hang up the food, and then we can just kind of eat it whenever we want, like once it's dried out a bit. Um, just walk right up and just eat right off the rack there. Um, otherwise, what you have to do is you have to take it out, set it on the fire, and kind of wait for it. If you leave it too long, it will disappear. basically burns up. But uh, here, we can just leave it you know, as long as we want. So... It's cool. We don't have to monitor it. So let's go ahead and grab some sticks. Look at that. A yeah, little bird, a little visitor. <laughs> it's like, I like this lizard skin. Okay, let's see here. Gather up sticks. All the sticks we can find. I think this might be kind of a cool spot. I definitely like it. It's nice and hidden away. We have plenty of trees and sticks and rocks. Now what we don't have is lizards. There are some rabbits running around here. We are going to make uh, rabbit traps. But, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. We select this and we hit C as you can see there. Do it again and hit C. So we got some lizards hanging there. We'll be able to eat those in a bit. Cool. All kinds of sticks around here. It's kind of a funny thing about gathering sticks. When you can't carry any more sticks, it does this interesting thing where it kind of pops in the air and then falls back to the ground. I'm going to see if I can show you this really quick, this phenomenon. Let's see. It's kind of a funny way of being able to carry one more than you normally can. So I pick it up and it drops. So if you hit E enough, E, 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 you can see it keeps picking it up. So you can actually uh, walk forward and keep tapping E <laughs> and it just stays floating in the air it wants to put it down but it can't there you go now we've got three over here cool so let's see we've got we have the basic set up here so I'm gonna actually go ahead and hit uh, C on here we're gonna save real quick screens gonna go black there we go and then I want what I want to do is I kinda wanna walk up on this um, edge and look around just to know what we're dealing with here. I think there might be kind of a clearing. You know it would be hilarious is if I walked up here and there were huts of those people everywhere. <laughs> that would be so terrible. So bad. It is a pretty big... Oh, ooh, a lizard. It's a pretty big opening here, but um, but it's not too bad. In fact, is that there's little... 
There might be water down there. Interesting. Okay, here's our lizard. Let's go ahead. Normally, these guys will kind of just wander around too. Like, not necessarily run away from you. Like, deer will run away from you. Oh, look, we got some of this aloe here. Let's go ahead and scoop that up. Never actually used this. I picked it up a few times, but have not had a chance to use it. So that's good. That's in this area. I think this stuff will grow back. Can't say for sure, though. All right, well, the, the lizard kind of ran off. What I want to do is walk over here and see if there's fish. I'm hoping, God, this would be great if there's a little pond here. I just see that it's kind of indented. No, it doesn't look like it. That would have just been too, too fortunate for us. But if you got a pond uh, and there are fish in it, there's usually a stick or two nearby, and it's different than normal sticks. It's actually a little uh, what they call a weak spear, and with that you can spear the fish and bring them back, and you can hang them as well. So, very cool. Let's try to hunt this rabbit. See if we can catch up to him. Oops, I got to look down though. Gotcha. Excellent. Can we get this guy too? Oh, I missed him. Oh, no, we got him. Sweet. Cool. We got a couple rabbits. We actually have some food. Very cool. And we do have the lizards hanging, but essentially the game at this point for us is to uh, get us to a point where we don't really have an issue with food. Um, and it may only be, you know, a couple days here where we don't really wander very far from here. At least that's kind of my take on what, you know, my plans are. It's to basically get myself... Uh, very self-sufficient get get the food everything I need maybe get some more armor kill some more lizards stuff like that Maybe get some traps going for rabbits We want to set up some bins so we can get logs and store them here versus for example I just have this log sitting here if I walk into it it moves around But you can actually make these kind of storage bins for these things for logs sticks and rocks So you can accumulate them because you can only carry a certain number on you So it's nice to have them nearby But anyway, like I said, we're gonna kind of get that stuff going and then once we have a, like a nice base set up and we've got our food and everything, then we're going to start wandering farther and farther out. Uh, you know, checking out the island, doing some exploration, and uh, seeing what we can find. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do the rabbit up here really quick. That guy. And this guy. Cool. And I don't think the lizard's ready yet. What will happen is you'll have an option with the E, the letter E button. But uh, it's not quite ready yet. Now, we are completely starving right now. So let's go ahead and have a chocolate bar. I like to save these as kind of a last resort. What I'm hoping is that we get this food going well enough that we can just kind of keep the, the candy bars as a last resort. Now, one thing to consider about putting the animals up here, too, is the only way to take them down is, is to eat them. You can't put them back in your inventory and take them with you. So you do have to consider that. So it might not be a bad idea, actually, for me to keep uh, you know an animal or two on me at all times so I could just make a quick campfire if I get stuck somewhere and cook it really quick or it just may allow me to be out longer um, are you gonna walk right towards me because if you are I'm gonna I'm gonna chop you down oh okay you run along then <laughs> okay we are going to lose the sunlight in a bit so let's go ahead and make a couple bins and uh, basically get a little bit of work done before we crash for the night so let's uh let's take a look here we're gonna bring up our inventory <clears throat> excuse me and let's see we're gonna go to storage so stick holders the log sled holds logs we got a rock holder um oh a log sled is different i'm sorry so basically these things will hold the stuff for us and sticks we have quite a few around here so i'm actually going to make one of these guys and um if we've got food and shelter here, I'm kind of thinking I'll keep this maybe on this side. But I do want to keep things close because I wouldn't mind putting a wall around this place. And in fact, right where this log is, I'm probably going to put a wall up at some point. And we may leave it open, exposed, you know, on the beach side. But So let's go ahead and just stick this uh, here, for example. And then we're going to need sticks to make it, but we have plenty. And then now, when we're near it, you can see that it has the C. With the C button, we can actually put sticks in here which is cool we can start kind of gathering sticks up and and then it makes sure that we have you know we can we could be gathering this up and and saving it up for future projects and everything so we got a couple more more holders we could make like i said for logs and for rocks it wouldn't be a bad idea that way we have it here for building but 
Uh, let's go ahead really quick. I'm going to move this log. I'm going to actually pick it up and just drop it over here to get it out of the way. And I'm going to show you how you can kind of... Whoops, see it's following me around. <laughs> go this way, but don't don't roll into the water though. So we could basically hit... Uh, basically go B. We can go into... Let's see, where is it? Here. A basic wall. Oh, bummer. I can't quite get it between the trees. Oh yeah, we can get it kind of there. So I can actually hit E and then leave that there. So you can kind of go around and plan these things out, kind of see where you'd want to put them before you actually start building them. Um, where did that log go? I don't want to lose that log. I might have already lost it. <laughs> I heard it. I do not see it though. Anyway, I think it went over the edge. I think it's time for us to go ahead and crash at this point. We are going to have to make sure we eat. Let's see. We, we can eat now. There's two. It's hard to see, but there are two options. Uh, e and C. So we'll hit E. Boom. That fills us up. And our life is full. And so what we need to do is get dry. Let's go ahead and start the fire. Very cool. Don't walk on it. It does hurt you. It's not too bad. And then, as long as nobody's nearby and everything else is okay, and it looks like it is, we're going to go ahead and hit Z and crash for the night. Well, as planned, we were able to sleep. Awesome. So we are now in the morning. I'm going to go ahead and take this wall down. It's going to kind of bug me if I'm not actually making it yet. So we'll take that down and we'll get to that in a bit. Now, we do have rabbits roaming all around here. So I'm kind of wanting to make a rabbit trap. Now, when I've experimented with this before, you make a rabbit trap, and then you can make a pin to bring the rabbits to and put them in, and they're supposed to breed. And I had them for a few days, and they didn't breed or anything. But um, we're going to go ahead and give it a shot anyway. We're going to get this started now rather than wait. So let's see. It's not one of those kind of traps. We want a... This is what we want, a rabbit trap. So it does take 31 sticks. But we do have plenty of sticks, and I don't think I need to put this too far away. I, I don't think this part really matters, um, like its vicinity to you. So we're going to keep it close. And it, and I may be wrong, but I did have one near me previously in the, in the other world I had, and um, I was able to get rabbits from it. It wasn't too far away. So we're just going to go ahead and set this up here. I think this is a good spot. And now we're just going to have to plug in a ton of sticks. Now we did drop them into our stick bin. <laughs> We come hit E and scoop those out. And then, of course, there's all kinds of sticks laying around. All out here. So let's see. That's 10. We go around and scoop up things. We, we certainly could be picking up rocks, too. That rabbit was just staring at us. <laughs> Don't look at me that way. I'm bound to come after you. I'm just taking a peek up here to see. Make sure there's no... There's no movement, nobody roaming around through there. Good to know. Okay, and then of course these guys we can actually chop and uh, scoop some branches off of those. So, looks like we're full. Hold, hold on a second, okay. This, from this angle, that looked like a fire to me. I was like, why is there a fire here? <laughs> I don't want there to be a fire here. We do have tons of rabbits here though, that's a good thing. 20, you need so many sticks for this. Go ahead and chop some of these guys down. So many. Now I think, if I, if I recall correctly, I was reading that um, basically when you pick up a rabbit, like when you go to put it back down, it puts it down dead. Um, oh, you know what? Hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think if I'm getting confused between this game and Seven Days to Die. And this one though, when, when you put it down, it seemed, when you put a rabbit down from after holding it alive, pulling it out of one of these traps, uh, that it killed it automatically. And it happened for me a few times. Um, if you didn't just go drop it right into, you know, a cage for them, and instead you put it on the ground, it, would, it died. But I did have one case where it seemed to live, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the difference there was. But since we do have the trap, and I would like to get them breeding, we're going to go ahead and make the rabbit cage next. Oh, you know what? It takes rope. I forgot about that. Rope is usually found around boats. Um, and there is, if I recall correctly, back where we came from, back beyond the peninsula, I believe there's a boat. Although now that I think about it, <laughs> that's the same boat that I ran into sharks at when I tried to swim out to it. So anyway, rope may be a little ways off. We will definitely have to do some exploring to find a boat. Um, probably along the shore one day, but uh, anyway, the trap being set up is good because, like I said, we can scoop up a rabbit. Did we get one already? We did. 
Let's go ahead and pick him up. So he is now um, in our hand, as you can see here. So normally, if I walk back and had a bend, I could hit C, just like a stick, and drop him in. Unfortunately, I don't have that right now, and uh, we're not going to wait. So let's go ahead and put him down. Okay, yeah, so he just is dead as soon as you drop him. 